Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, I think it's time to have a little bit of a chat about Rillaboom. And this isn't the first time we've talked about the Rillaboom from Sword and Shield. The Rillaboom from Sword and Shield is amazing. But I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Code64X has gone and tweeted at me today and gone, you know what, Wossie? I think... This is the best way to play Rillaboom. And I think they might just be right. Now, Rillaboom, as a little bit of a reminder here, has a ridiculous ability, Voltage Beat. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two Grass Energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon, and then shuffle your deck. Jobs are good and it accelerates Grass Energy. And we've seen a bunch of different lists with this. We've seen lists playing grass Pokemon like Rowlet and Alolan Executor and Venusaur and Snivy and all of that. And I've suggested that maybe the best way to play Rillaboom when it's legal is going to be Rillaboom V. Remember, Rillaboom V and Rillaboom V Max are not out in Japan yet. So we're not going to see lists with them in. They will be legal in Japan as of next Friday. So you're talking kind of 11 days from now. We're not going to see any Rillaboom V-Dex until then. We can't. It's not legal. But someone's going to want a tournament over in Japan with a Rillaboom deck, which is really a Mewtwo and Mew deck. Things are changing, ladies and gentlemen. You see, Mewtwo and Mew has long been a Welder deck. Using Welder to accelerate fire energy and using Pokemon that use fire energy colorless energy, and then maybe using stuff like rainbow or the odd basic energy to fill in other attackers. But this new list is going, right, you know what? We've got Rillaboom. And Rillaboom is an every turn thing. So that's going to help us out quite nicely. So let's go for that rather than relying on Welder. And then we can use other supporters instead of Welder. Oh yeah, and it also means we've actually got a decent non-GX attacker. I'm not saying 4 energy 140 is phenomenal. I'm saying that the vast majority of Mewtwo and Mew decks don't play good non-GX attackers. So that'll do, pig. That'll do. Now, Mewtwo and Mew, of course, has that ability that lets it use the attacks of any Pokemon EX or GX on your field or in your discard pile. So the first question becomes, all right, what Pokemon are we using to copy? Well, one thing I find really cool about this list is we're actually going double Greninja. We are playing both the Greninja from Forbidden Light and we are playing the Greninja from Detective Pikachu. Now, the Greninja GX from Forbidden Light has got that really nice attack whereby you do 110 damage and shuffle the Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. Now, this works perfectly in this particular build because we're talking one energy plus Rillaboom. So you can pay this attack cost really easily in one turn. So essentially, any time you need to get your Mew to a Mew back in your deck, do 110, save your opponent getting a KO, this will do it very nicely indeed. The Detective Pikachu Greninja can actually be played from your hand to your bench as if it were a basic, even though it's a stage 2, and then you get to draw 3 cards, but only if it's the last card remaining in your hand. But really, the main reason we play this is for Mist Slash, one water, one colorless energy, 130 damage, and it's not affected by any effects on the defending Pokemon. So if your opponent is trying to block you with something like an Alolan Ninetales or anything, which is there as a blocker, this is a really good option for going through that block. Yay! We've then got the Naganadal that does damage to one of your opponents. Well, any of their Pokemon, but generally you, you use it to hit to the bench. You've got to discard free energy to do it. But again, attaching free energy during your turn really shouldn't be a huge issue. We do have the GX attack here that adds a card from your opponent's discard pile to their prizes, which can be fun. I should mention the Greninja GX and Forbidden Light does 130 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I don't see why you'd ever really use that GX attack. I suppose you don't discard the energy, but Naganadal's just better. And the Greninja from Detective Pikachu puts one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your opponent's hand. None of them are phenomenal GX attacks we're expecting to use on a regular basis. Now, we also have Dragonite GX. 
the second one. Just like the Naganado GX was the second one. 5 energy, 270 damage. Ridiculous. Just huge. That, that one hit KOs Tag Team GXs. Like Resha Ram and Charizard. Like an opposing Mewtwo and Mew. And it's got a GX attack whereby you may discard any number of cards from your hand. And then draw until you have 10 cards in hand. Fine in an emergency. But again, none of these GX attacks are really doing it for us. We also see one Vile Plume GX. Which I'm starting to see pop up in more and more lists over in Japan. Now this is a one, though it's got a really nice ability. Once during your turn before you attack, you may heal 30 from each of your Pokemon. But you're not playing the pre-evolutions, you're only playing Vile Plume. So you can discard it and use it with Mewtwo and Mew. So you're never using the ability. 180 damage for 2 energy. Minus 10 for each damage counter on this Pokemon. 180 for 2 energy is not what you can do with any other Pokemon in this list. And sure, okay, you've got to have no damage on you to do it. But it's so easy to get 2 grass energy on. It's literally just a Rillaboom. That you're probably not going to worry too much about it. You can put up a fresh Mew to a Mew and just go here. And they're basically your options. Oh, I suppose there is a GX attack. One grass energy, 50 damage, plus burn, plus poison, plus paralysis. I'm really not enamored by any of these GX attacks. I don't think... I mean, they're all fine, but none of them are that great. Now, in terms of other Pokemon, we do have a Dedenne GX, just for some early game consistency. We have one of the new Oranguru. Let's you swap a card in your hand for the top card of your deck. Essentially, it just lets you draw a card. There's no real reason here you'd need to stack your deck to have a particular card on top. It's really just to draw an extra card. And we've got Rowlet and Alolan Executor, which we see more and more and more here in these Stage 2 Grass decks. For zero energy, you can find a basic Pokemon on your bench and immediately evolve it all the way up to a Stage 2. That's kind of over the top good sees a lot of play as it probably should as for the gx attack free energy 200 damage if you've got six energy on there your opponent shuffles all energy from all of their pokemon into their deck if you can get the six energy on here which you should be able to that probably is the best option for your gx attack here it is the one i like the most now, in terms of energy, it's mostly grass, but we're also playing some of that new Aurora energy. It's rainbow energy, but instead of taking a damage counter on the Pokemon to whom you attach it, you instead discard a card from your hand. You need to play the old water energy and all of that here, so it, it's pretty, pretty useful. In terms of trainer cards, we're playing a bunch of tag teams, so we're playing Tag Call. Cool. And as we're playing Tag Call, cool, we might as well play some tag team supporters. We've got Mallow and Lana for some healing. You're giving up free prizes on Mew to a Mew. Healing is good. And you've got Guzma and Halla. Let's you search for a stadium, a Pokemon tool, and a special energy. So actually, it's a really good way to search out that Aurora energy of which you can only play four. Now, we do have stadiums here. We're playing Chaotic Swell. It's a counter stadium. You put it down, and if your opponent tries to play their own stadium, it gets discarded without actually doing anything. It's pretty gosh darn good. We also here see, in terms of tools, one balloon reduces retreat cost by two. It basically gives free retreat to your Pokemon. It's pretty awesome. And we also see one copy of Stealthy Hood to stop your opponent's abilities affecting the Pokemon to whom it is attached. In terms of Pokemon Search, we see Quick Ball to get your basics. And we also see Cherish Ball, which searches out your GXs. And except for your Oranguru and your Rillaboom line, they're all GXs here. And we see Net Ball. And Net Ball actually searches out your basic grass Pokemon or your basic grass energy, which can be really useful in the later game. We've then got one copy of Pokemon Communication. Like, that is the only way we can actually search out our evolved Grookey here, our Rillaboom, all of that. It's the only way we can do it. But it doesn't matter, because we're evolving up using Rowlet and Alolan Executor for zero energy. 
So you don't really ever need to search out any of Grookey's evolutions. So don't worry your pretty little head about it, frankly. Couple copies of Switch to get your Pokemon out of the active, usually fairly important. One energy recycle system to recover your energy. Three to the deck or one to the hand. One reset stamp, because every deck plays reset stamp. You punish your opponent for taking prizes. They shuffle the hand into their deck and draw a number of cards equal to their remaining prizes. One copy of Normal Rod here lets you recover a Pokemon and an energy, or up to two of each, I should say. That's pretty gosh darn good. And then we've got four copies of Professor's Research. And this is just the fastest, most aggressive supporter in the game. And two copies of Marnie, because like every deck plays Marnie at the moment. It's a judge, but instead of getting four each, you get five, while your opponent gets four. And instead of shuffling your hand into your deck, you shuffle it and put it on the bottom of your deck. I've not seen Rillaboom doing well with Mewtwo and Mew before this. And I think it's really good. I think being able to just instantly go and get it as probably the best option here because you're not having to rely on using welder so you can use other faster more aggressive supporters and you're not having to worry about getting the energy in your hand you can just search it out of your deck it really is pretty gosh darned awesome but now ladies and gentlemen i'd like to know what you think about this deck so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, or you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where you can find out about a whole bunch of games that don't have pokemon in but are pretty gosh darn good nonetheless but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would you thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio